Okay, so in this video we're going to look at how to define and use a variable. So in my App Inventor project, I just have a result label. I just have a, a text label that I dragged over. I renamed it to result label and gave it a background color, changed the font size, and set the aligned alignment to center. And then I added a button and I renamed it to go button and just did a little bit of basic formatting with it as well. So that's the setup that I have for this. Now let's go into the blocks mode and we'll look at how we can, first of all, create a variable. Now a variable is Think of it as a container that you can use to store and preserve information or data. And that allows you to use something over and over again in your program. Since we can change what is being stored, that's where we get the name variable because it can change or vary as the program runs. Now, to create a variable in App Inventor, we go into the blocks on the left-hand side here, and there is a section here specifically for variables. So we click on that, we have the blocks that we can use to work with and create a variable. So for our beginning purposes, most of the variables that you create are going to be what are called global variables. Global meaning they're going to be available anywhere in your program. So I'm going to grab this initialize global name and drag it out into my workspace. So now the, the next thing to do is to give this a more meaningful name. So I'm just going to call this, let's try um, title. We're just going to change the title in our app and we're going to initialize it or give it a starting value right that's what initialize means is we're going to give it a starting value and in this case I'm just going to go to the text blocks and grab a string up here and snap it in so now my variable is going to have text in it so let's just say something like App Inventor box. So what this will do is when the app opens and starts running, it's going to create a place in memory for this text and it's going to be called title. So from this point forward, we can get the value of what's in title you notice that that just pops up when I hover over it. So if I use my mouse to point to it, we get these two blocks that pop up. One is get, so we use that when we want to access or get the value of what's in our variable. And then we have what's called the set block, and that allows us to change the value of the variable. So let's just do a basic example of using a variable in some of our code. So I'm going to start out with screen one and initialize. So when screen one is initialized, meaning it's going to load, I wanted to put my title into the result label. So I can come over here to result label and find a set block, so set result label text to, and I want it to use the value of title, so I'm just going to hover over here and grab a get block. So now what should happen is when this app starts, it's going to put App Inventor rocks, because that's the value of title, when it initializes into the result label text label. Right, so right now our text label says text for label one, 
but when the app starts, it should say App Inventor rocks. So let me set this up so we can see it working in action. So I'm going to go to Connect and AI Companion, and I'm going to go to my AI Companion app, and I'm going to choose Scan QR Code, point it at my QR code, and when the app loads, it takes our text from our variable and puts it into the text label. Right, so when the screen initializes, it takes the value of what's in title. Right, so it has App Inventor rocks and puts it into the result label. So this is our finished result here. Let's take it another step further. Do something else, right? We said a variable is something that can change. So how about when we click on the button, we're going to change the value of our title. So I'm going to click on the Go button and use a click event. So when we click on the button, we want to change the value of our variable. So to change it, again, we're going to use the set block, right? Set allows us to change the value. And now I could come over here to the text and get another empty text string, or I'm just going to do a shortcut here and right click and choose duplicate. And then all I need to do here is change the value of what's in here to something different. So how about something like programming is awesome. So if I do this now, and I come back and I click my button, right? Nothing seems to happen. So if I come back here and I look at my code, well, I told it to change the title in my variable to programming is awesome. But I also have to go the next step and say, change the value that's in the result label to whatever is being stored in the title variable. So I'm just going to duplicate this whole block here. Now it would make a difference whether this was before or after the set. right? If I did it before, then if I did it this way, things are going to run in this order. So it's going to set the result label text to whatever global title is, which is already App Inventor Rocks then it's going to change the value of what's being stored in the variable. So I really want to do it the other way around. Change what's being stored in the variable, then put it into the result label. So let's see what happens when we test this. All right, and I'll click Go. And the button click triggered the code blocks to change the value of the variable and then take that value and put it into our text label. So again, back in here, we have a variable. The value of it is changing. And then anytime we want to use the value of what that variable is, we use the get block. If we want to change the value of something, we use the set block. So this is a basic example. We're using text in here, but we'll have some other examples where we can use numbers and something called a Boolean, which is a yes or no or a true false type of value.